today we are chatting about stress is never ending in both good times and in bad. And I'm going to repeat that. Today's conversation here on Mornings with Mike is the following. The fact that stress is never ending in both the good times and in the bad times. You know, it's safe to say that I know a thing or two about stress. <laughs> um, I'm not happy to admit that, but I do. And there's a good chance that you do as well. <laughs> you know, when it comes to stress, the stresses of life, right? Personally, professionally, financially, emotionally, spiritually, everything, right? There's so much going on, so many moving parts in our life that, you know, it makes sense that there's stress going on, right? <laughs> And I think you could probably relate to that. You know, for me, it's, it's funny. I look back, I can look at the stress and date it back to whenever, right? Early age, you know, getting a report card from school. I'm stressed out about what my parents will think about my grades, which weren't great back in the day. <laughs> uh, you know, to the stress of applying to college. Am I going to get in? And, you know, how am I going to, you know, pay for it afterwards? You know, to the stress of moving across country when I got out of grad school to California. That was super stressful. You know, the stress of going through a divorce. You know, the stress of different relationships I've had and the breakups, you know, losing my dad to, to, to cancer. That, that was a major stressor, as you can imagine, in my life. You know, start my own business, as exciting as it was and stressful from that perspective. You know, it was also stressful because of all the ups and downs, uh, you know, of it. You know, traveling the world, you know, that was as exciting as it was in a good way. It was also super stressful with everything that went into it, planning and the logistics. You know, recently I just, you know, I was in a five-year relationship. I broke up, you know, we we separated and that was super stressful, you know. Finding love again, you know, that's stressful. As exciting as it is, that's stressful. So I think you can kind of see, right, stress, good and bad, is always around. And I'm sure if you look at your own life, whether it's something good that's happening or has happened or bad, it's stress. There's stress around it in the, both the good times and the bad. It's never ending, right? That's why today's conversation here is the fact that stress is never ending in both the good times and in the bad. And while stress, and while good stress, if you will, you know, such as, you know, having more money, right? Uh, Coming, you know, finding love, being in love, you know, a new position at work, starting a new business, a new career, traveling the world. While all these are good stresses and they're better than the bad stresses, right, of losing a loved one, of going bankrupt, of a, a breakup, of a divorce, failed business. While the good stress is better than the bad stress, at the end of the day, guys, it's still stress, right? It's still stress. It's still affecting the body. It's still stressing the body. You know, we often think that it's just the bad stress that, that's not good for us. But really, guys, all stress, it's all stress that isn't good for us because it taxes the body. It puts us in this fight or flight mode and it's just, it's super exhausting on the body. It's taxing. It's not good. And so now that we know this, right, whether in good times or in bad, if stress is going to be there, and perhaps, like I said, you can relate to this, maybe more so in the, in the bad times versus the good times. But again, if you really look at it, even in the good times, there's stress, right? You love your children. You love your spouse. But sometimes there's stressful times around that. So how do we manage it? That's the big question here. How do we manage it and manage the stress the right way? And when I say manage it, I mean all the stress, right? Whether it's the good stress or the bad stress, how do we manage it so we're not stressing ourselves out and taxing our body, you know, really affecting ourselves? Because if you've been there, which I'm sure you have, it's not fun. It's exhausting. You know, it can actually end you up in the ER like it did to me, you know, years ago when I was creating Entrepreneur Fitness Academy, the course that I offer. <laughs> you know, so much stress there. As excited as I was to create it, there was so much stress in the work to be done, the deadlines to me that it really ended me in the ER room because I was that stressed out. So that's too much, guys, right? Whether it's good, bad, stress, good stress or bad stress, it's too much. That's not good. So again, how do we manage it, both the good and the bad stress? I want to share with you three ways that continues to help me when it comes to managing all stress, both the good and the bad. You know, this continues to work for me. Um, I've been using this, you know, this these three steps for probably the last like four or five years, and it's been super helpful. And don't get me wrong, you know, every once in a while, <laughs> stress still gets the best of me. But for the most part, I think, you know, nine times out of 10, you know, these steps really do help me manage that stress. So let me share those with you here, if I may, and hopefully these help you out as well in times of good stress and in bad stress. So number one, 
biggie, and that's why it's at number one, is controlling our thoughts. Controlling our thoughts, meaning what we choose to focus on. What we choose to focus on. So let's use an example. You know, if, if it's money, if it's bankruptcy, right? Yeah, that's a bad stress. Okay, so let's not focus on the fact that, man, I have no money. How am I going to live? When am I going to pay my bills, etc.? We can focus on that. It's not going to do anything for us. The focus, I would suggest being like, okay, I've lost that. What must I do immediately to start making more? The focus is different. One is like, oh my goodness, I'm, I've lost it all. What am I going to do? I'm going to suffer. I'm not going to have what I need. Not a good focus. The focus must be on what must I do now to make myself that money, get back in the game. So the focus, change that focus to you know misery to like what must be done. Take action, step into that. Again, that's the bad stress. The good stress is like, hey, you know what? I just won a hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> and as fun as that is, now it's like, man, now the stress is like, what do I do with this money? Do I invest it? Do I buy a home? Do I give it to someone else? Do I hide it underneath my mattress? It's like becomes stressful, right? But again, it's all what the focus is on. If the focus is on, man, now what am I gonna do with it? Someone's gonna, you know, re- reach out to me and gonna want to borrow it now. And what if I lose it? What if someone robs me? If where's the focus going? So what we decide to focus on is what we're going to feel. So let's focus on that winning a hundred thousand. That you know what? What must I do immediately to make sure that this thing is taken care of? To make me happy, so I'm not worried about it. Focusing on that, not letting our minds go wild. So number one is controlling our thoughts in both the good times of stress and in the bad times. Controlling our thoughts, where our thoughts go, focusing on what we must do to achieve the results we want. Versus on, in, on all the negative things that, more often than not, don't even happen. Our mind just goes there and wanders and stresses the heck out of us, and that never any of that really never ends up happening. So focusing on the good, what must be done to get us from where we are to where we want to be. That's number one. Number two is a big one, guys. As well, is focusing always, especially during the bad times, the bad stress. Focusing on gratitude. Gratitude. I know these things aren't going well in my life, but what's going well? The fact that I have a roof over my head, that I have family who loves me, that I'm healthy, you know, focusing on gratitude because in the presence of gratitude, guys, we cannot feel fear and anger at the same time. So you can't feel grateful for loved ones and feel anger at the same time. It just it, you can't. It's one or the other. So I'm asking you to feel the gratitude. You can't feel gratitude for like the roof over your head and the health that you have, and feel fear at the same time. You can't. You feel one or the other, so I'm asking you and I to focus on gratitude going forward, both in the times of good stress and in bad stress. Focus on gratitude, the good that's going on in your life, the things you have. And number three is expect the stress to happen. <laughs> expect it to happen while we're we're looking to manage it. Yes, let's also expect that it's going to happen. It's part of life. So it's not about trying to wish the stress away. It's going to happen. It's about managing it, and the way we manage it is by what we're talking about right now. Number one, controlling our thoughts, what we focus on. Number two is making sure we focus on gratitude, what we have, what's going well, what we're happy for. And number three is just expectation, expecting the fact that we're going to feel bad stress. We're going to feel good stress. It's going to happen. It's part of life. As long as we're alive, we're always going to deal with some kind of stress, whether it's good or bad. So let's just expect it, not wish it away and try to hide under a rock so we don't feel any stress in our life. You know, it doesn't feel good. I know that. Trust me, I've been through tons of stressful times in my life, but it's part of the process. It's part of the game of winning, of getting better, of learning, of developing, of, of going the distance to get from where we are to where we want to be. Stress is going to happen, good and bad. I'm asking you and I just to manage it in these three ways that we have just covered here. Before sharing with you today's call to action, let me take a moment to thank the show's sponsors. In a world of impersonal online e-commerce, getting timely responses to requests, if any response at all, has become frustrating and time-consuming. Ever since I began working with Ben at Graphlix, these concerns have become a thing of the past. He keeps marketing personal by providing me with one-on-one creative solutions and top quality printed and promotional products. Do yourself a favor and put all of your online e-commerce concerns to rest by emailing Ben today at ben at graphlix.com and let him know I sent you to and receive free custom graphic design services on your first printed or promotion product. Again, that's ben at graphlix.com, G-R-A-F-L-I-X, graphlix. My call to action for you is 
just be mindful that when it comes to stress that you know what we can feel stress in both the bad times and the good because i know it sounds wild right if you're feeling so happy and good and things are going so great and you find yourself stressed out you're like what the heck is going on here right shouldn't i just be happy and of course you're happy because i've been there myself you know in times of business going well you're in love the world is great everything's going awesome but you're still stressed because things are going so well you're worried that something is going to go bad <laughs> you know the money you're all you're making in your business is going to go away and you know the love of your life is going to probably leave you so yeah there's those stresses right the good stresses you know like when things are going well those are going to happen and so are the negative stresses the bad stresses so be mindful of the fact that it's going to happen. And when the stresses do come and they will come, remember, control what you focus on, control your thoughts, control on what must be done to get you from where you, where you are to where you want to go. That's number one, not focusing on the negative, but focusing on the good, the positive, where you're headed. Focus on the gratitude. Be gracious. Be grateful for what you have because you can't be grateful and fearful grateful and anger, angry at the same time, focus on gratitude. And lastly, expect that stress is going to happen. It's part of life. So let's not wish it away. Let's welcome it and realize what stands in a way becomes the way. The stress is part of us getting better so we can get from where we are to where we want to be tomorrow.